marjoram, oregonum marjorana, absolutely related to oregano, um, same genus. Uh, however, the way to tell the difference between this is by the taste of the leaves. And I remember many moons ago in the herb garden, I'd get people to taste test everything. I believe strongly in organoleptic testing, within reason, when you're with someone that knows what they're doing. So basically, the taste of this one has got a slight sweet to it, sweetness to it. Whereas oregano, spicy, you can't miss it, it really is spicy. So this one has an old and long history, uh, like oregano, except for this is older. And I first realized this in Cyprus, where they would call oregano uh, regani, but they would call this sapsasha. And it was given the old Cypriot word, which is one of the oldest languages in the world. Um, it was given this name of sapsasha, which was meaning the old oregano. And wild marjoram, which like this one is growing out of a patio, I just love it, the way that that happens, um, is, is, is an old variety. Uh, really, it's quite a wonderful herb. I mean, we look back in time and uh, people like uh, Culpepper from Culpepper's Herbal, he was a master herbalist in the times of um, the plague. He was going in there in the front line in London and uh, helping to cure people of the bubonic plague with his herbs. So amazing guy. But he spoke about marjoram, saying that it was kind of a cure for all. And uh, he reckoned it was specifically uh, a digestive aid, and it's true. This is particularly good. When you, when you have it as a tea, it helps to dispel wind, which is very good. So it helps on that front. Um, it's also very good for calming the nerves. I mean, it's very, very soothing. The smell brings such clarity to the mind, it's fantastic. What's amazing about this herb is it's still flowering now. I mean, it flowers all the way from July through to October. It's a fantastic herb, it's just lovely. So now would be a good time to harvest it. You know, you can leave some so you can start to collect the seeds and, and, and there you would go. So it's, uh, it soothes the nerves. Um, like I said, it's a digestive aid. It's also a hormonal regulator, specifically, interestingly, for PCOS. It's very good at, at balancing uh, the hormones. So this is, this is a really wonderful, wonderful herb. Um, another interesting use is its use for sore throats. Now, if you drink this as a tea, you can gargle it or you just drink it straight. It really helps, helps to calm a sore throat. It helps as well with a stucky, stuffy congestion. Okay, which is kind of this time of year, you know, we're in season change year and uh, season change time of year. And, and it means that things can get a bit blocked up as your body's trying to detox all the toxins and get ready for, for, for uh, the change in season. You know, we can get a bit stuffy and, and the body is releasing toxins and, and you can get a bit congested. Well, this is, this is your one, this is your cure-all for your, for your um, congestion. So it really is, is a very, very, very useful herb of our time. It's exceptionally good. Um, like I said, it's calming the nerves. It can help with anxiety. It can really just bring you, bring you back. It's wonderful. Now, the folklore of this herb is, is quite magical, actually. Uh, ruled by Venus, or Aphrodite, as the Sapsa Shah uh, photo would have it. Um, uh, ruled by Aphrodite, it really is um, uh, a love-giving um, plant. And it's used in spells and potions for love and to bring love into one's life. However, it is, uh, it's also used to dispel sadness. So you find that if people have had prolonged periods of grief where the pain is just so intense, get them to drink loads of marjoram tea, get them to drink, to have a bath with some marjoram sprigs in there and just the fresh sprigs in the bath, just absolutely lovely. In fact, the essential oil of this, um, this marjoram essential oil, for years I used it for um, muscle pain, for deep tissue and, and, and tendon, you know, tense uh, nerves and real real tension going on there so it's really good for that and like I said it brings it brings kind of clears the sadness in fact if you use this um, and, and you like kind of burn it in, on, a, on a, a stone burner and let the smoke rise apparently you will cleanse the house of any sadness it will drive sadness from the house because this is a true bringer of joy so wishing you that today wishing you that for every day keep the faith look to the nature, we'll all be right. All the best. And if you like my videos, please subscribe, click on the bell so you'll get notified. And uh, yeah, please support me because I like to give this knowledge across because I think it's important that we all have the knowledge on how we can heal ourselves. Uh, you know, I trained in this, so I'm here to tell you how you can help yourself. All the best.